Folks, I hope you are part of a solid Bible teaching church and specifically Bible teaching in that they go verse by verse through the scriptures, through the whole entire Bible. That's the best way to learn the Bible. And of course, we need to be equipped in knowing the Word of God personally. And that means you also need to be reading and studying and spending time in the Word yourself. We we are in that last days church, I believe. And Paul the Apostle, when writing to the Ephesians, he tells them the type of ministry that is so vitally important for the church. And we read that Jesus, verse 11 of Ephesians chapter 4, gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastor teachers, notice this, specifically the job of that pastor teacher was for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. That's the job of the apostles and, and prophets and evangelists, and, and specifically the pastor teachers. Every church has a pastor teacher. He's teaching, hopefully, through the Word of God, teaching the Bible, not just teaching about the Bible or from the Bible, but he's teaching the Bible. Because that's what verse 12 says, perfects the saints. What does that mean, perfection? That means to grow us up. We need to be growing up. That's the important thing. And then the saints are the ones that do the work of the ministry. You see, it's not just for an isolated pastor or minister. It's we're all ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We go to church, right? to get edified, to get built up so we can go out and do the work of the ministry, the work of evangelism, the work of inviting people to church, the work of praying for people, the work, the work of you know mowing people's lawns, whatever it is that we're ministering to others for the purpose of bringing them to Jesus Christ. That's what it's all. It's, it's knowing Jesus and making him known. That's what the ministry is. And we, the pastors, are the ones that, along with the prophets, evangelists, and, and so forth, are the ones that perfect the saints for the work of the ministry. We're the, all to do the ministry. For the edifying of the body of Christ, to build up the whole body. That's the point, right? Until we come, notice verse 13, to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God unto the perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of of the fullness of Christ. Man, we want to be we want to be coming to the fullness of Jesus Christ in our personal lives, in our family, our marriages, in our church, in our communities, the fullness of Christ. And then notice this, with that solid Bible teaching, pastoring, verse 14 says that we henceforth no be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about by every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and the cunning craftiness by which they lie and wait to deceive but speaking the truth in love we may grow up there's that you know another form of that word perfecting grow up into him all things who is the head of christ and that's what we want to do we want to grow up Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God, it says in Romans 10, 17. It's by sitting under the Word of God. It's by spending time ourselves on the Word of God. It's by memorizing Scripture, meditating on the Word of God, as it says in, in Psalms chapter uh, 1. Day and night that would be like a tree planted by the rivers of water whose leaf will not wither, and whatsoever that man does shall prosper. Find yourself a good, solid Bible teaching church that teaches the whole counsel of God and that believes that God's word is God's word in errant, without mistake, without flaw. The Bible is the word of God. It is absolute truth in a time when nobody knows what absolute truth is, it seems. God bless you. Seek the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean on your understanding, but push yourself into Jesus today. Ask him to come into your life and be your Lord and Savior if you haven't done that. If you're not, if you're not a Christian, become one. How? By confessing uh, the Lord Jesus and believing in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. 
if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved, the Bible said. Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. As many as received Jesus, to them he gave the power to become children of God, even to them that believe on his name. Believe on Jesus today and get yourself into a solid Bible teaching church. God bless you.